Hello everyone and welcome to Electron Empire. In this video, we'll talk about motherboards, their role and the main connectors. This video is the first of the Know Your PC series, it's intended to be beginner friendly and will cover every important subject so you won't be lost anymore when your friend talk about their brand new PC. So let's get started, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to learn more about PCs. If you're new to the world of hardware, the motherboard may look very complicated, but it's really not that hard. Think of the motherboard as the backbone of your computer, it will connect all the components together and handle all the data flow between them. This is the socket, that's where your processor, also called CPU, will be placed. The socket matters a lot as it will define if your motherboard is compatible with your CPU or not. For example, AM4 or AM5 sockets are for AMD processors and LGA sockets are for Intel. But even then, not any AMD socket goes with any AMD processor. We'll talk about that in the CPU video. Then we have the chipset. The chipset is basically the hub of the motherboard. It's what will transfer data or electricity between the components and it also manages peripherals such as USB ports. There are multiple chipsets for each socket. Here is an example. For the LGA 1700 socket, there are the B760 or Z790 chipset to cite a few. All chipsets are different and have their perks such as overclocking compatibility, etc. This will be covered more in depth in a future video. The RAM slots are fairly simple. It's where your RAM stick will be put. What is RAM and what is its utility will be detailed in dedicated video of this series. The PCIe slots are where you will put your graphic cards, also you can also use them for Wi-Fi cards or other expansion cards. The SATA ports are used to connect additional drives. The M2 slots, which doesn't appear in this picture, are also for drives. They are the fastest and what's recommended, especially for drives where you will install games, as they can deliver data quicker than SATA. Last but not least, these are the power connectors. As their name says, these are where you will plug your power cables. This one is to supply electricity to the processor, and this one is for the rest of the motherboard, which will basically supply everything but the graphics card. And that concludes this video on motherboards. If you found that video interesting or helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe so you can learn more about computers. That was Electron Empire, and see you next time!